there's a risk. Le lit, le lit du jour. Got these great new, well, we'll see how great new Svetlana tubes recommended by Marshall. Got them from the tube store in Hamilton. So, one moment. These are the two tubes I took out. I took out a, uh, took out an Electro Harmonics EL34. Call it uh, 1107. I don't know if you can get that or not. And I had that in front of a, a Mesa. And uh, the Mesas were really, I don't know. So, two new EL34 tubes later. How will my old. Uh, Marshall 112 sound. Wow, don't expect a miracle right away. They've been burning for about five minutes, but roll off the volume a bit. are sitting on a big hump like that but I might even just take that out of the uh, equation mm. yeah. Always helps. Bust. 
TS1. <laughs> here is my tube selections for the preamp so these are tube store 7025 select series that I plan to put in input 1 and 2 and JN 12 ax 7 WC sorry 12 AT W 12 AT 7 WC I was advised to use this for the rectifier, sorry, no, the inverter, because it works more like a, a piston. It's very, it's like it's fast responding, but doesn't have, uh, doesn't have to be low noise. So we'll see if that hap helps our uh, crippled little Marshall here. I'm using this uh, schematic here. I'm not sure the accuracy of it. It does say it's for a. Oh, what does it say here? Yeah, it says JCM 800 4210. So, I don't know. These amps change so much, and I don't really think that they're very tidy keeping up with their with their drawings, their schematic drawings. So, I'm swapping out. What am I swapping out here? V1, V2. And uh, five, I think. These are the tubes I'm removing from the circuit. I have these tongue saws. Are you focusing? Hello. This is with just the phase inverter tube replaced. <laughs> She just sounds that way, something like that. I don't know. Um, what do you say we try out the 72.5s? Let's have a listen to it now with the 70.25 preferred series from the tube store, along with the well, we're going to talk about the other valve position. <laughs> crunchy. Let's try rolling back the MXR to flatness. 
as opposed to the little kick up we had earlier on. WC Jan that I had in the phase inverter position I swapped out with the 12AX7 I had in there which is electroharmonics the one I had before and uh, yeah Painstakingly rolling a whole bunch of tubes through the preamp section, I learned a learned, I learned a funny thing about this amp, and that is uh, the V1, the first valve, the first valve position in the back of the chassis, all the way to the left, actually boost is the boost channel. So it's like one, one, two, and then mix is the third tube, which is uh, kind of screwy when you look at the schematic. So, uh, but it proved itself out because I had like a, a tube that was basically half junk and made almost no push at all. And I put that one in and identified it with the foot switch. Whoa! Okay, so the best, the best combination I've come up with so far is the, uh, the electroharmonics tube. I don't have an extra one, I'm using them all in the first position, which is for the boost, and then 
with the tube sockets cleaned out, I noticed a big difference when I cleaned out the uh, number five socket. Input jack and try to tighten the bend the tab in there down a little bit. Amazing what a little cleanup job will do, huh? All my settings are the same as before, with the exception that I turned the mid up. The mid was there.